Gadpitah is one of the most ancient and important Egyptian gods. For there are proofs that show that he existed at least since the first dynasty. In spite of his becoming the greatest god of Memphis gods, yet in the beginning he was a small local god. Then his position and importance grew bigger by time. There was a pointing out to him in very little segments in the pyramid's texts. But it's difficult to be sure of the fact that it was due to the lack of his importance in the beginning of the historical ages or it was due to the will of the priests of Heliopolis to minimize his status and position for the sake of the Sun Creed. Petah represents the head of the triad of Memphis that's composed of Petah and Sekhmet and Nefertum. He's a god of arts and handcrafts. He was also connected with Petah Tatinin or Petah of the Standing Out Land, who was connected with one of the theories of creating the universe in ancient Egypt. His name means the Builder, and the origin of the word means the Opener. As for his looks, it kept a constant shape and a continuous one across the ancient Egyptian times, starting from the first picturing of him in the first dynasty era on a pot of Tarkhan in Giza. Betah is pictured in the shape of a man wearing a tight dress and his two feet are almost stuck. His two hands come out of the wrappings and he catches the religious symbols that are related to the gods. The was or the scepter ends with the jet pillar and the sign of Han or the key of life. Usually, Betah wears a hood firmly fixated on his head. Since the Middle Kingdom era, he became pictured with a pointed straight shin instead of the tilted divine shin that's related to gods. <laughs>